What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. You're probably wondering what this kid is doing. So, I've been talking a lot about app retention, and I thought, who better to bring on to the YouTube channel than an 11-year-old with an attention span of zero. What, of zero. Probably it's zero. Zero. <laughs> probably 0.0. 0. 0 even less than zero. So I wanted to bring on my son Noah to really talk about what brings him back into a mobile game. Because you play a lot of games. Yeah, I do. What's your favorite game? Right now, it's Brawl Stars. They keep updating the game, which makes it more fun for users to play. They added new characters, new maps, new skins. So, And they also just updated it recently at Thanksgiving. Pretty good. So I guess the tip number one for you mobile game developers out there is more content. So continually putting more and more content up there. But let's talk about Brawl Stars. How did you actually even learn about the app? So Brawl Stars, it got big because Supercell made it actually. If you guys don't know who Supercell is, they made Boom Beach, Clash of Clans, and Clash Royale. So that that game started to get big, Brawl Stars, because it's made by Supercell, made Clash Royale and Clash of Clans. Those are two really big games. It got big by uh, YouTubers. YouTubers played Clash Royale. They found about the game Brawl Stars because of Supercell. It got big. I watched those YouTube videos. I'm like, hmm, could be a pretty good game. It looked really fun. All the game modes and all the characters. So I tried to, I, I downloaded it, and it's pretty fun. Okay, so... More content, you found out about the game through YouTube. You usually figure it out through YouTube mm -hmm. and like... Social media. Social media now. You don't ever search for anything <laughs> in the App Store, do you? Yeah, I don't search for much, much anymore. Okay. And then sometimes through your friends. Through my friends, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what else brings you back into a game? Uh, well, one, I'm pretty good at rosters. Uh, but something, you don't have to be really good at a game. You could just like their content. So make, uh, make sure that like... Let's say Supercell, they made this for like nine year olds and stuff. So maybe what do nine year olds like? They like fighting and like characters that you could, like unlocking characters. When I was pretty little, like seven, eight, I liked games that you would just unlock things. Like I just like more con, like more content stuff to unlock. And that's, they, Brawl Stars did a really good job of making sure that their user, that their users liked what they were making. Wait, when you said they, make content so like when you're developing a game think about what a your core audience wants yeah. right like your core audience if it's going to be gamers they want things when you say unlock you mean as you play more and more in the game you unlock different characters you unlock different characters new skins even new game modes that's what that's my favorite hey modes. one thing i want to talk about is that first time user experience you know what i'm yes. talking about here yeah. so when you first open an app what's a good experience for you how do you like to experience an app is it through learning how to play through a sample game or how do you like to what do you, what have you what do you liked when you first opened an app or a game and what have you hated and you were like no this game is not for me all right so i'm gonna start with the good ones so when i open an app i expect it to be like welcome like usually it's how to play the game how to like do stuff and usually starts you off with like the games i like starts you off with the character right and i like these type of games they start you off with the character you play against like boss as the first match. And I like how they just introduce you to the game, they just get you started with the game. I, I like Fortnite a lot if you actually click on my channel, but they don't teach you how to play. So when, like I started when they didn't teach you how to play, you should be like in the game, press X to load the game. I press X, nothing happened. I like didn't know how to play. I don't like those type of games because then you're like so confused. Like what do I do? I don't know what to do in this game. There's a lot of mobile games like that, and you just don't know what to do. So I don't like those, because I don't like being confused in those type of games. Especially because with, with these type of games, they're very in-depth, right? Mm -hmm. And so you want a little bit of a tutorial yeah. to walk through it, learn what it is, the mechanisms, and then start building. So with, do you play any casual games? Like, you know what a casual game is? Like a very casual game. Hyper casual is what they call it. So like a... Like a Minecraft. Crossy or, Road. A Crossy Road. Color Switch, Flappy Bird, those are like hyper casual. You play any of those games? I did. I play, still kind of play Crossy Road. 
I like the game. It, it sort of introduces you, but it's a really simple game. So when you hop on the app, it just says tap to move. And then if you're stuck on an obstacle, it'll tell you to swipe. I like this type of game, so as you go on, like tapping and stuff, it'll tell you what to do if you're stuck or something. I like that. Cross the road, plus you don't need any internet. There you go. That's easy. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to make sure we hit on in terms of you coming back to a game? Yeah, actually, yeah. The developers should also add uh, more content. We got updates, but then we also have community. I say community is also a pretty big thing. Fortnite community, very big. They also request new stuff, like Brawl Stars. They have a whole community, whole chat, and they always say like, uh, "Give us more ideas, and maybe we'll do that." Um, so that's how they create new skins, because there was a drawing for skins, which skin should be released, they, everyone did their drawings. Community is a big thing, so if you get more people to play the game, community will, you know, recommend some stuff, and your game will grow from the fans and the users. It's also a pretty big thing. You're pretty smart, because you know Thank one you. of my past interview guests, he runs a big gaming company, and he said community is the next big thing, too. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree with him. <laughs> All right. Well, you're a pretty bright kid, even though you have an attention span of 0, 0.0. Yep. Okay. Maybe even less. So we got content, number one, build a lot of content. Number two, make sure you build for your end users, so have characters, have fighting styles, action styles that they like, and then number three, have a community. Anything else you want to make sure we cover, Noah? No, we good. We're okay, good. Okay, cool. So the last thing I want to mention is Noah does have a YouTube channel. And he wants to get it to at least 100, right? Yeah, so let's show I'm, the power. I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm at like 50. I kept it private. But I'm at 50 about, and I hope to get to 100. Uh, please get me there. I know Will your crush finally say yes to you? Is that, is that why? No, I don't crush. have a crush. He <laughs> okay. keeps bugging me about that. <laughs> All right. So what do you do on your channel? I do. Okay, well, if you guys have kids because i know there's a lot of adult users on his channel and if you guys have kids pass them the phone so they can click on my channel go subscribe there uh turn on the notification bell so i because i stream and i mostly stream on youtube if i post a video then it's kind of rare but i stream a lot i do fortnite recommend any game recommend any game i comment down below in my videos uh, i do fortnite apex legends I do, I do nba 2k i also do some mobile games if you want to see my Brawl Stars content that I was talking about, yeah, you can go check out my channel. That is it. So it's called One Noah's. We're going to link that up into the show notes as well. Let's go check out his channel. Let's get him to a 100, and then maybe he'll finally tell me who his crush is. I don't have one, though. <laughs> and we'll impress her <laughs> as well. All right, guys, Till next time, I'll see you on the next uh, video. <laughs> Got it. You're pretty smart. Peace.